It's a part of what critics say is a victory lap by the U.S. president, perceived as newly emboldened since his acquittal in the impeachment trial. On Wednesday, Donald Trump praised Attorney General Bill Barr for his role in lowering the Justice Department's sentencing recommendations for the U.S. president's longtime friend, Roger Stone. I want to thank the Justice Department for seeing this, this horrible thing. And I didn't speak to him, by the way, just so you understand. They saw the horribleness of a nine-year sentence for doing nothing. You have murderers and drug addicts. They don't get nine years. Nine years for doing something that nobody even can define what he did. The people that launched the scam investigation and what they did is a disgrace. The Justice Department decision came after the U.S. president tweeted criticizing Roger Stone's initial sentence. In response to the reduced sentencing recommendation, four career prosecutors resigned from the Stone case earlier this week. For many legal analysts, their resignation is a product of increasing norm violations in the Justice Department. What we have seen from the Department of Justice is uh, a real lack of independence, that it, Typically, the Justice Department is not influenced by the president, but in this particular instance, you can see that the Department of Justice has been influenced by President Trump's tweet. In November of 2019, Roger Stone was found guilty on all seven counts of obstructing the probe into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Among the charges, the veteran Republican Party strategist was convicted of witness tampering and lying to Congress under oath.